WhatsApp. I did not air call. Euh, le problème, c'est que j'ai plein de trucs là-bas. Merde, comment je fais Si je veux la truquer, machin, je veux pas qu'elle voit. Euh, comment je vais faire ça Welcome back to Offbeat. I'm Tommy McDonald. In this video, we'll be taking another look at the allegations against Pierre Woodman, where he's accused of drugging girls in his porn castings. I've already talked about this quite a lot in another video about Pierre Woodman, but we need to speak about it again because recently I found evidence of Woodman talking about buying cocaine and drugging women with it in his actual porn videos. Before we get into things, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. Let's try and get this video viewed by as many people as possible. The more people see it, the more women we can protect from ever meeting Pierre Woodman. I already made another video where I detailed allegations of sexual violence, particularly against Russian women who were trafficked into the porn industry. There's a link to that and some other Woodman videos in the description, so please check those out. Please share them um, with whoever you can. So first, I think we need to do a recap into the actual allegations against Pierre Woodman. I, I was in porn for 10 years, and in that time, there were always rumors about Pierre Woodman and some other producers mixing lidocaine or cocaine with lubricant and then putting it in the girl's anus in order to numb her butt so she can do more extreme acts without feeling pain. Obviously, after the shoot, that's when you would feel horrendous pain. And what it means is that you can be abusive to the girl or she can do more extreme acts without kind of realizing she's being abused. Now, it actually used to be a normal practice to do this in Europe. Lidocaine is often used even now. Usually when it's used, she knows that there's lidocaine in there and it's kind of her choice to use it. Not always though. And especially in the early 2000s, it was completely normal to do this. And what veteran producers tell me is that it was preferable to use cocaine in the lube. Now, the reason is that if you mix cocaine in lube, as well as numbing the anus so that you can do more extreme sexual acts, it also gives them a high, lowers their inhibitions, makes them more willing to say yes to things they would normally say no to. So for that reason, it was widely used. And you've also got to remember that, especially at that time, they were usually manipulated into doing porn. They were told it's for the Western market. And then when things came out on DVDs and people saw them in their home country, they just quit. So the lifespan of a European porn star was a lot shorter than for an American one. So whereas an American might be in the industry for over a year before she does something really extreme, like double penetration, double anal, where you have two penises just in the anus. In Europe, if you'll notice, the European girls are doing it on their first scene, their second scene. And it's just not really possible. Even doing anal sex for the first time without training for say two to four weeks beforehand, you can do some real damage. So these European girls were going in and doing double anal with no problem, no pain, all on camera. And the reason for that is cocaine and lidocaine. Now the allegation is that Pierre Woodman has continued to use this practice even today. Is that true? I think you have to decide for yourself. It's very complicated. Let's look at the reasons why people think Pierre Woodman does this. The first clue is that he often wears a rubber glove in his videos. When he's applying lubricant, he always puts a rubber glove on. Now, there's not really any reason to do this unless you're worried about your numbing your fingers and things like that or getting, you know, cocaine or lidocaine onto yourself. No other producer seems to do this, only Woodman. Another giveaway is that he often uses condoms. Now, obviously he tests as well. And, you know, if you want to use condoms, completely fine. A reason people say he's doing this is that if he wasn't using a condom, the cocaine in the lubricant would make his penis go numb and he would lose his erection. Now, the counter argument for this is to say, yeah, but all the guys he works with, they don't use condoms and they have no problem. But the thing to remember is that most men in porn, they're actually injecting their penis with a thing called Trimix. And what that does is makes your penis hard and you can't really feel anything anyway. And it just stays hard until you put another injection into it. And then it goes down. Because most men in porn these days, they can't even get an erection without doing this. So that's one of the reasons why people say, you know, if you watch his porn, he has the condom on because Woodman is not injecting his penis. Whereas the other guys, they don't need the condom because they 
are injecting, so they can't feel anything anyway. So cocaine or lidocaine on their penis wouldn't affect them. Now, this is just a theory that many people have. It doesn't mean that it's true, but it is very suspicious. And as you'll see, it does kind of fit with what other people are saying and allegations that have come in. The other evidence we had is we interviewed Pierre Woodman's former employee. Uh, he was employed by him for many years. He was his main model recruiter. He actually went to prison for sex trafficking. Um, a lot of people around that work for Woodman tend to find themselves in prison. Never Woodman, but always people that work for him, which is quite strange. There was a time then I was, uh, he was renting a studio apartment where he was doing his castings and I was leaving into the department. And he did the castings and he forgot his, uh, his loop he was using for the girl. Okay. He forgot the loop, the loop under, under the bed. And he went home. And uh, I remained there and uh, we cleaned up the, the apartment and we just find the loop. Yeah. And I wanted to try that loop because I heard many things, you know, and about his loop. And I, I, I just put on my, on my dick a bit of that loop. And mm. I didn't, I didn't really penetrate on my dick. I had, had something inside, you know, I don't know what, mm. but I really didn't, didn't felt my my dick, you know, so, uh, wow. so this, this explains the yeah, remorse all. about, you know, then uh, probably he's using two kind of loops or blah, blah, so, and maybe that's why he's using condom. Is that proof that Woodman is putting cocaine in this lube? No, but it does just add another voice to the suspicion. A more credible source of the allegations is from a person that actually currently recruits models for Pierre Woodman. And that's Dennis Blackmagic. Dennis Blackmagic is a convicted child rapist. He was on trial this month for raping nine different women and having child porn on his computer. He posted on a forum all about this. Dennis says, it's a mix of Vaseline and it's a secret formula created by Woodman. And it works, but only real insiders know about this. So a different user suggested that Oh, it's cocaine hydrochloride. And he explained all about that. And then Dennis replied, oh, I already know about that for more than eight years. But the reason I did not post it is because it's an inside respect in the industry between producers and directors. You know a lot, so you must be an insider in adult. So there you go. That's Dennis Blackmagic, Woodman's friend of 20 years telling us Woodman uses this in his loop. Okay, so we don't know if he's doing that today, but we've spoken to other models that have worked with Dennis recently, and they also say Dennis is still telling girls that Woodman puts cocaine in his lubricant. So, you know, they're friends, so why would he make up some bullshit about him? It doesn't make sense to me. But in Woodman's defense, it's not evidence. It's very suspicious and there are models who have also complained about this. They haven't obviously been able to prove that they were drugged, but they have reported feeling euphoric and then crashing the next day. And it's something they've observed in other women who have worked for Woodman. I also just want to point out how Woodman has defended this. He put out this bizarre claim that cocaine, if you mix it with lubricant, it doesn't work. So the allegation is baseless. But that's not true at all. According to the San Francisco AIDS Foundation, they actually recommend mixing cocaine with lubricant if you're going to take it anally. So it does work. You can't say that this is not a way of getting cocaine into your system because it absolutely is. When I first started making videos exposing Pierre Woodman, the first video I put out there was an interview with Eva Berger. In her video, she experienced such extreme sexual violence. And she was also a sex trafficking victim. She was put into that situation where she was working illegally in Europe. And she was kind of pushed into it by her agent. She didn't really have much choice about working with Woodman. What we did when we made that video is we went through that scene and we looked at 
every action, you know, second by second, what is consensual and what is not consensual based on our expertise working in porn. But also Eva's memory is more complicated than that. So if you want to see that breakdown, go watch that video. But when we did that, we didn't actually focus on the talking. We just looked at the action. But one of the offbeat viewers recently sent me in some footage and said, have a listen to this. I wanted to show you a secret, uh, but, uh, but, 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 but. It's too fast, Nobel. It's not bad. Maybe I show you this. Putain, j'ai plus le temps de déplacer mon bordel. Attends, WhatsApp. I did not air call. Okay, it's not important. Allez. I'm not sure if you heard that at the end. In my opinion, it sounds like he's clearly reading a WhatsApp message on his phone saying, I did not have Coke. And she seems to act like, oh, this is a problem. Obviously, that can be interpreted in different ways, but I think anyone listening to that will understand that it sounds like someone trying to buy cocaine. I asked Woodman about this clip. I literally just messaged him and I said, look, I need to ask you a question. Why did you talk about buying Coke and drugging girls in your videos? His response was, you know, you're sick. All industry knows I'm anti-drug, alcohol, even cigarettes. You're a fucking idiot and a liar. The more you say shit about me, the more you destroy any chance of being trust. But this is just what he said in his videos. So I sent him the video clip and Woodman laughed and he says, he didn't say that. He said, I did not come. Now, it doesn't sound anything like that. Um, and I was surprised that he denied saying it because like, what does he think I'm using AI to generate video? It's his video from his website. So you'd assume that the way of defending this is to say it was part of the story. And I wanted people to think I was buying cocaine or trying to buy cocaine. There's problems with that, but we'll get into that. If Woodman is as anti-drugs as he says he is, then why does he say this in French shortly after? I said, I don't, you don't talk. I said to you, I have a surprise for you. Mm. Surprise. Surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Okay. 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 Allez. Uh, le problem is that I have a lot of things there. Merde, how do I do it? If I want to do it, I don't want to see it. How do I do it? I have a small problem, but it's not your fault. I would like to manage something, but I don't know how to do it. Uh... Okay, we do like it. You, you know to to put some some in your ass. Smaska. Uh, yeah, smaska. You can do. No. Yeah, put you in doggy, doggy position. Mm -hmm. Yes, and put some in your ass. So you can. Mm -hmm. Show me how you can do it. It's interesting to see if you, you can make it. It's consistent, du coup, je vais pas te le faire. Fais voir ça. So, just in case you didn't read the translation or you're listening, in that clip, he's speaking English, and then there's a part in French where the translation that I have, and if this is not accurate, please tell me in the comments. Right, the problem is that, that I don't have this thing over there. Shit. How do I do it if I want to coke her and everything? Now, when it says coke her, my understanding is that in French, you can say coke her and use coke as a verb, as in to drug her. Within the space of a few minutes in the same video, we've got Pierre Woodman trying to get coke and now talking about drugging Eva. Woodman denies saying anything about drugs in his video. So this is like quite confusing for me because it left me watching this, these clips over and over again, checking with the translator. Are you sure it's drugs? Are you sure they're talking about Coke? Because you start to doubt yourself. You think, have I done something wrong? Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? Am I hearing what I think I'm hearing? But Woodman denies it, but I don't think any of us listening to this can deny it. Um, that's two separate clips. And let's be charitable. Let's say it's staged and he's just talking about this for the camera. In porn, you can't even pretend to drink alcohol on your shoots. You can't pretend to take drugs in your shoots. 
if you watch porn, even if it's a nightclub scene, you'll see that no one's drinking alcohol. People will just have like cups that could be soft drinks or alcohol. You don't know, you'll never see bottles on set, not anymore. He used to back in the day, but not anymore. I really thought he would say that, oh, this is a joke. There's all these rumors about me using cocaine. So, you know, I said it to troll people. It was something like that, but he doesn't. He doesn't. And I think there's a good reason for that. I think it's because, as I say, you're not allowed to do this in porn. If he did use that defense, he'd be putting his whole business at risk because he's saying that he's making porn where part of the story is he's simulating drugging women. He's simulating date raping, basically. And, you know, you can't pretend to drug people in porn, so he'd be putting his business at risk. And then I think we have to go on... Woodman's reactions. To me, he seemed very surprised that these clips existed. Like, he didn't believe they existed. He denies there's any talk of any drugs. And, you know, it's well known he edits his own videos. Um, I think he has to. It'd be too risky to have someone else editing them because if they saw something disturbing, they could just email the footage to the police or whatever. So he likes to control everything he does, even though you should have more than one person working on that. So, my best guess to what's happening is that these clips were left in the final video because he was overconfident. I think it's particularly careless when he's speaking in French because he knows that the people that are actually checking these videos to see if the content's legal, they only speak English. Like, no one speaks French at Epic or CC Bill. My, my feeling is that this just slipped through. Um, and I think he would have edited it out if he knew it was there. I think Regardless of whether this is really Woodman talking about actually drugging Eva, or if it's Woodman pretending to drug Eva, I think either way, it's a truly heinous thing. Like, it's something that should never happen in a porn video. Now, I think I want to just talk about, like, why this is even allowed in porn, because this video has been sold for nearly 10 years, and no one's had any problem with it until I've started banging the drum for a year now. And even I didn't spot this until like a year later. So let's just break that down. So after my last video in February 2023, I showed Eva Berger, I showed how she was a sex trafficking victim, and I showed extreme sexual violence that Woodman subjected her to. When that video came out, Visa and MasterCard, as well as CC Bill and Epic, the two companies that handle porn payments on Woodman's website, they actually launched an investigation into his content. And guess what? They looked at the video and they found that everything was okay, which is very, very odd to me. It, I'm not going to lie, it, it pissed me off. It made me angry. People who I thought were good people and would do the right thing didn't. It just seemed like people didn't care. And it's clear from these new clips where he's talking about getting cocaine and drugging Eva that this investigation was a sham. It didn't happen. Nobody actually reviewed these videos in English or in French, because if they did, they would have seen this. And surely, like, this is not allowed. And I just got to really keep in mind that the most charitable thing that can be said is that Woodman wants people to get off on the idea of women being drugged. And it's just not okay to make porn about drugging women. When I contacted Epic, to ask if I could do some content where it's non-consensual, but the girl consents to it being non-consensual. They said, no way. But they're okay with this, with a drug fantasy. The only conclusion I can come to is that the payments companies like Visa, MasterCard, Epic, CC Bill, they don't actually care about consent, about sex trafficking, about women being drugged, about sexual violence. They just want their cut of the money like a mafia godfather. So long as a model signs a model release form, they don't give a fuck.